Hello everyone, Veronica here from Wedding Album Cafe and today I'm going to show you just how simple it is to edit the text in your logo that you've purchased from Wedding Album Cafe. To begin, you'll open the logo and in this case I'm using Simply Doodled. Inside your folder you will find several files. One will be your Adobe Illustrator file. The other will be your Adobe Photoshop file. Additionally, you will find information that explains how and where to get your font. In this case, you will have a URL to download the font and to do so you simply double click on the image and the URL will open up in your browser. You just look for the download button and then download the font. It's a good idea to save the font to the folder that contains your logo. Once your download is complete, unzip the file by simply right clicking and choosing extract to here. Now, if you don't have a file extractor, you'll need to get one of those as well, but most systems, either Windows or Mac, come with some type of a default unzip program. If not, you can find WinZip or WinRAR. Once your font has been unzipped, you can do one of two things. You can double click on it and in Windows just click on install. Now if this is a font you're going to be using all the time then it's not a bad idea to go ahead and install it that way. This way it will always be available whenever you need it. If you don't want to install the font permanently to your system you can use a font manager to activate the font as you need it. So to do that you would simply uh, drag the font into your font editor and then you can see here I have it listed and then to activate it I can just go ahead and turn it on. Now this font is available for me to use in Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. If you do not have your font installed then you will not be able to edit this logo so that's very important not to skip this step. We'll go ahead and start with the Adobe Illustrator file. To begin, you just simply double click and it should open in the default program, which hopefully you have that set to Adobe Illustrator. Once your file is open in Illustrator, you can go ahead and begin to edit. And to do that, you'll want to type on your text tool, highlight the letter, or letters that you're going to be changing. In this case, we're going to start with the J. And we're going to change it to R. And then we're going to go to the Jessica Howell. And if you find that the text is a little too large, then you can simply highlight it and change the point size. In this case, it looks like we won't need to change it too much. And if you like, you can rearrange the letters a little bit. And once you're done changing the text, you simply save your file. You'll go to File, Save As, and I recommend saving it in Adobe Illustrator format. And we'll create a version too so that we don't overwrite our existing file. And that's it. Next. I'm going to show you how to edit the PSD file. Now, most people probably already know how to do this, but just in case, I'll show you anyway. Now, our logos 
will either come with a link to download a file and in some cases you will see instead a text document and if you click on this it just tells you the name of the font and it tells you that this is a pre-installed font in Windows so in this case you're not going to need to download it and it should already be active in your system so this time instead of double clicking on the AI file I'm going to go ahead and double click on the Photoshop file to open this up in Photoshop now here it tells us that some text layers contain fonts that are missing and if you don't have the font that we're using installed then this is when that message will come up but in this case I know that the font is that's missing is for photography and since I'm not going to be editing that text I won't really worry about it okay here we have the Jessica Howell you can see this text layer right here now the Photoshop file is all grouped so all of the layers are contained inside this group so you'll need to click on this little arrow to open up the groups and then you would just look for the text layers now all of these layers here are text but where you see these little default arrows that is the font that is not active and if you click on this photography here it tells you the name of the font that you would need if you wanted to edit that text so I'm going to click on the layer that contains the Jessica Howell I'm going to activate my type tool and once again I'm going to highlight all of the text and I'll highlight it again and change the point size and if you like you can adjust the kerning a little bit by opening up your character palette and using the arrow or the numeric keypad to adjust this slightly and there you have it and once you're done again you just save your file file save as and you can save it to the same folder but change the name so that you have a different version click save and you're done now if you like you can always change the color of your logo as well change the color of the text or what have you and I do have a tutorial that shows you precisely how to do that as well thanks for tuning in I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments or use the contact form to send us an email la, 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 la.